Okay, so the other evening, the other afternoon actually, Sunday afternoon, I, um, I made three soaps, coconut milk soaps. The first one was um, a rhubarb champagne blend and um, that was Sunday afternoon. It's now Tuesday, Tuesday night, so I let it stay in the mould for the two days. Um, it was the first time I'd ever used a water discount. So this is the soap here. And it, it, I used the tall skinny mould and it, it just slipped out of the mould. I didn't have to put it in the freezer. It's come out nice and firm, obviously due to the water discount. So I'm really pleased with that. The only thing is when I was making the actual soap, um, you know, you... I guess you can expect a slightly, you know, it hits trace a little bit quicker and everything like that. It seemed to firm up a little bit quicker for me. So um, if I was wanting to do a swirl that was um, requiring my batter to stay a little bit looser, then I'd have to tweak the recipe a little bit and maybe not discount the water so much. But I'm really happy with the results for this one. So... I will just give it a cut. the first piece there. Now when I made it I actually used um, I used the tomato red to get my red color and I used the pink vibrant mica and I don't know if you can see it I've got a little a bit of a light on here at the moment to try and because I'm cutting at night and the lighting's not all that but but the actual vibrance mica, and I mean my batter was a little bit, a little bit yellowy, has turned a bit of an orange colour. So you can just see that there. It's it's quite a bright sort of orange. It's not. It's quite looks quite good actually. But um, I'm not sure as it cures out whether that'll have a bit of a you know change colour or anything like that. And um, it, this one was setting up really quickly so it was really a bit of a plop it in the mold and pray um, I only got to do a little bit of a swirly swirly bit on the top there but all in all I've got no air pockets so far touch wood so that's um that's good con considering.
and all of the um, all of the bars are very similar. They, I pretty much just plopped them in the mould. But all in all, I think it turned out okay. Okay, so that's that one. Now I made another one. Um, that one was a, a coconut milk soap. Um, olive oil, palm oil, cocoa butter, um, silk. I think that was about it. The next one I made was using a fragrance called Mountain Fresh. And that's the bar there. See how this one turned out. Let's give this a bit of a wipe, get rid of all my red. Now that um that first one that I made, the rhubarb, the, the rhubarb and champlain blend, it smells beautiful. The smell is still really nice. Um and I'll, I, I would say, we'll see how it cures out, but I would say I'll definitely be using that blend again because I really like the smell. Okay. Now this one, um, after the shock of the first one, um, I sort of managed to control this one a little bit better. It was still a bit firm, um, but as you can see, I got to put a little bit more design in that one. So. Quite happy actually with those swirls. That one was a little bit of a plop and swirl as you go because it wasn't, as I said, it wasn't really, really liquid. Again, I don't seem to have any air pockets so far, which is really good. I'm really happy with the greens in this one. They came out really nice. The two different tones of green and the white. And that's the last little bit that I'll cut up for samples. So that one was really good as well. No air pockets, which I'm really happy about. You always worry about that when your mixture is a little bit thick. So I'll just clean this up. And then the final one I made um, is called Euphoria. And that one is my nice colourful one. 
I used a different mold that I had for that one. So that was a different silicon mold. So I've only got the two long skinnies at the moment. I don't know if you can see, but the pink in this is almost like a fluorescent. Came out really bright. So the colours that I've got here might be a little bit deceiving. They're, they're very bright. Um, the colour that you can see there is actually an orange, so I'm waiting to see how that'll set up over time because I know you do lose a little bit of your, your colour with your oranges sometimes, but um, we'll see how that goes. But the, the pink, oh my goodness, fluoro fluoro pink, very bright. Maybe that shows it a little bit better back there. Very bright pink. Really quite happy. That one was just a bit of a another one that I sort of plopped in the mold. So far so good. No not too can't see too many or if any pockets at all. So I'm really happy about that. It smells lovely. Here we go, slightly, just the slightest little pocket there, but it doesn't go all the way, it's pretty shallow, so I can't complain. So I'm extremely happy, 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 happy. Just can't get over how bright that pink is. Be interesting to see what happens to it as it uh, as it takes to the air. And that's my final little sample end. And that is it. So there you have it. Euphoria Mountain Fresh and Rhubarb Champagne. See if I can move this light a little bit, whether it makes a difference. Maybe that's a little better. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. See you later.